thousand dollars is on the line tonight. But listen, if you can make it uh, about halfway through the game or so, we're going to give you the option to take some coins and run as well. So a couple of prizes tonight. All right, if you also need help in getting your points and levels up, then why don't you treat yourself to a points multiplier? Free passes are the real MVP in this game, so make sure you get them up to level 10 to really help your chances of winning. There's only a few days left in 2019, so if you want to record a win this year, your chances are starting to dwindle, my friends. You better hook yourself up. All right, team, we get warmed up on Twitter before every game of HQ Sports. That's where you can find us, or drop your answer in the chat right now. The holiday spirit strong here at HQ, so I want to know which athletes do you think are on the nice list and which are on the naughty list? Ah, uh, let's see what you had to say. At LFG Mets says, um, on the nice list, it's JJ Watt, and for the naughty list, the Houston Astros dugout. All right, he's giving us a little naughty and nice from Texas. Um, neither of those need an explanation, and I love it. Thank you very much, LFG Mets. I know what that means, too. At Face Palm Circus says, Miles Garrett is on the naughty list, obviously, and Khalil Mack is on the nice list. Goes on to say, the man paid off all layaway lists at a Florida Walmart. Chicago cannot possibly love this guy any more than we do. Love that. And last but certainly not least, at Red Team for Life says, Naughty Antonio Brown and nice Cam Newton, especially after seeing his Thanksgiving dinner event. All right. I like your answers, team. Very nice. I think if you're talking about Team HQ Sports here behind the scenes, I think I'm on the nice list, quite frankly. And Gab is on the naughty list. She's shaking her head and she's mad at me. But you should hear the smack she talks about the people she plays in fantasy. Santa wouldn't approve, Gab, that mouth. You kiss your mother with that mouth? Yeah. All right. As always, thank you for playing along. Now, to my entire team, naughty or nice, it doesn't matter here. There's money on the line. Let's do this. Round one starts right now. In which sport is the top reserve known as the sixth man? Hockey, basketball, football. Yeah, I guess the top man doesn't travel well, you know, he's to L.A., not too far away. Hockey only has five non-goalies on the ice, so the first one over the boards on a line change is kind of a sixth man, right? No, that's a stretch. The answer here is obviously basketball. Basketball is your answer at round one. 30,187 of you don't even need to sub in for that one. You're, you're in the starting five there. All right, before we move on to round number two, I don't really know who's been good or bad this year, so you're safe, Gab, okay? You probably were good. But I do know that there may be a couple of TKO questions ahead, so protect yourself by, you know, getting your gloves up and getting some extra lives, of course. Keep them on hand for when you need a mulligan or two. Don't forget we have an early prize if you can make it to round seven. Round two, coming at you. Here we go. What kind of punch does Sugar Ray Robinson land for this knockout? Take a look. Smacking right hand landed by Sugar Ray Robinson to the ribs of Gene Fulmer. And Sugar Ray Robinson, Gene Ooh, now that's a TKO. What kind of punch was that, though? Was it an uppercut, a left hook, or a right cross? Sick combination. Yeah, at the same time, I guess. Oh, Gab's giving me her best moves. I love it. Oh, well, that happened so quick that I'd understand if you missed it. Gene Fulmer sure did. It was a left hook, baby. Left hook for the knockout. 28,923 of you getting that one right. Oh, does it look like I'm doing a right hook because it's backwards? Oh, sorry. Left hook, right hand. I'll get better at that. Round number three. Both players who led the American League and the National League in errors this past season play what position? Catcher, shortstop, or first base? In the vast majority of seasons, it's a shortstop who leads the league in errors because they get the greatest amount of difficult chances. That's why shortstop is your answer at round three. 21,824 of you getting that one right. Last year, it was Gene Segura who led the National League and Tim Anderson who led the American League. 
Who's leading HQ Sports right now for the win? Is it you? Round four. Which sport features the highest number of timed periods in regulation? High school football, men's college basketball, or NHL hockey? All right, let's break it down. Hockey has three periods. Men's college basketball has two 20-minute halves. But football, four quarters. Whether it's high school, college, or the pros, it's always going to be four quarters. 16,481 of you. Wow, this was a little more savagey TKO-y than I thought it was going to be with 15,000 of you getting out on this one. I hope you have your free passes from all of those points. If not, I hope you're using your head, clicking on that heart, and getting back in here right now. Round five. Which university finished highest in this year's final college football playoff rankings? All three of these were ultimately ranked OLI, outside looking in on the final four playoff spots, but the school that came up closest was the Bulldogs of Georgia at number five. Georgia's your answer. Round five at number five, 21,718 of you getting this one. Which begs the question, who's ready for bowl season, baby? What's your favorite bowl? Mine's the Cheez-It Bowl. Round six. Which country has been banned from international competitions for the next four years? Brazil, Russia, or China? Come on, we know Russia's been under fire for its athletes' use of banned substances. And now the world's anti-doping agency just made this ban official. Russia has 21 days to respond. Either way, they might have trouble appearing at the next Olympics or World Cup. Russia is your answer. Headlines everywhere today, this weekend, right? 25,426 of you getting this one right. Woo! We've been speeding through this game because we are upon our first little prize question here where I'm going to be offering you a whole bunch of coins if you get this next one right. Round number seven. Which of these players has the most kickoff returns for a touchdown? Deion Sanders, Josh Cribbs, or Devin Hester? Get this right. you got a choice to make. Hester is the GOAT of return men with a record 20 combined return touchdowns between punts and kicks, including one to open a Super Bowl. But on kickoffs, the two tied at the top are Leon Washington and this beast. Take a look. Read into the ball and he lines it down the field. It bounces and Cripps had it bounce off him. That's a live ball. Back by the goal line. He's got to come out with it. He's to the five. He angled. He's up the sideline. He's still running. He's to the 20, 25, 30. He's to the 40. He's down the sideline and angles left. He's to the 35, 30, 25, 20. He's got blockers in front. Five. Touchdown. Oh, yeah. Joshua Cribs oh had to sit that one out, if you don't remember that, Me with too. a little inhaler. Oh, and it looks like that some of you crazy. have to sit this one out and catch your breath, just like Joshua Cribs had to. It's our first TKO of the night. Bam! Down and out. But you don't have to be. Get back in the game right now. Tap on those extra lives. Over 3,000 of you are jumping back in. But 2,254. I got an offer. 489 coins. Wow. 489 coins. 400 coins. That's an extra life, right, Gab? She just gave me the thumbs up. We're on the same page, G-Baby, tonight. All right. 489. Who's taking it? 2,254 players. What's it going to be? It looks like 1,060 players are leaving as early winners and 489 HQ coins richer. So. All right, Mike Bug, I see you there. That's a big drink. Janny Cole, oh, how cute. Scoop 9, 489 coins are coming your way. And then I see some pretty ladies on the bottom. Grammy Yo, Sam Boom, Katie Foo, looking good, everyone. All right, 
Bro, that that took a lot out of me, Gab. So I don't know about you, but I could go for a little stretch. Oh, look at that. It's time for our seventh round stretch. Let's kind of collect ourselves, get back in the game if you have to. And because it is the holiday season here, I have another holiday inspired question to ask you. These are the gifts that money can't buy. But out of one of these, which one would you love the most? Would it be a round of golf with Tiger? Playing a tennis match with Serena? Or catching a pass from Tom Green? I mean, if you could buy this, then good for you. But, you know, the rest of us can't buy it. <laughs> What's it going to be? Wow! 46% of you said a round of golf with Tiger Woods. I'd have to agree, probably because that would take up a lot of time, too. You would spend the most time with Tiger Woods. I like it. All right, second half-ish of the game. Here we go, round eight. Which of these NBA teams shares a stadium with an NHL team? LA Clippers, Phoenix Suns, Miami Heat. I would get torched in a round of golf with Tiger Woods. I don't know about you, Gabby. I would get torched in a tennis match, too, with Serena. Yeah, and I probably couldn't so. catch a Tom Brady pass. Anyway, American Airlines Arena in Miami can host hockey, but it doesn't. As the Panthers play at the bb and Center in Sunrise, Florida, the Coyotes used to share with the Suns, but they don't anymore. It's the Clippers who are all about sharing. Sharing is caring with the Lakers and then, of course, with the Kings as well. Wow, they changed that over so quickly. LA Clippers is your answer here 4989 of you getting that one right all right we got a few left round number nine here we go what was the first team outside of the nhl's original six to win the stanley cup after 1967 expansion flyers islanders or blues ah well from 1942 to 1967, the NHL was all the original six. Canadians, Maple Leafs, Blackhawks, Me? Red Wings, Bruins, uh, and uh, like Rangers, of course. After expansion in 1967, the Blues lost in the final three years in a row. The first outsiders to win were the 1974 yes. Flyers. Flyers, baby, 6,028 of you getting that one right. Ooh, knocking out over... 3,500 here. I see over 440 of you jumping back in. Almost 500 of you now jumping back in using those extra lives. We got three rounds left. Round 10 coming up. Final quarter, actually. Round 10. What school featured the all-time leading rebounder in women's college basketball? Baylor, Oklahoma, or Tennessee? This one... Not even close. Courtney Paris of Oklahoma is yeah. the only women's player to, to surpass 2,000 rebounds. Can you believe that? She played at Oklahoma, of course, because I just said it. Oklahoma is your answer. 1,404 of you. Woo, Gab. Here's another TKO. Boom. I know. Take a second. Grab, grab a sip of water. Really, shake it off. Get up and get back in the game here. 1,404 of you got that one right, but I see over 1,300 of you jumping back in. It's round 11. Who is the only running back with two of the top 10 all-time single-season rushing totals? Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson, Jim Brown. Two left. you got to be in this. All right, if he didn't retire early, he might have put up three or even four. But for now, Barry Sanders has two. He went over 2,000 in 1997 and ran for 1,883 in 1994. Barry Sanders is the man. 1,969 of you getting that one right. That would be good for number four and number, t number nine of all time there. Ooh. All right. I see 3,700, almost 4,000 of you getting back in the game, almost 2,000 of you getting that one right. It's time for the final round. Let's do it. Everything you worked so hard for all game long is down to this moment right here. The game is on the line. Time is running out. All you have to do is get this final point and win the whole thing. Round 12. Which of these players is the all-time leading scorer for an NBA franchise? Like Griffin, Dwight Howard, or Kevin Durant? For all the money. Oh, what did he say? 
Blake is number two for the clips, as Randy Smith is that franchise's all-time leader in basically everything. Durant might be his generation's greatest scorer, but Russ put more points up for OKC. Nobody scored more for the Magic than Dwight. Dwight Howard is our final answer here at round 12, and we have 1,456 new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations! <laughs> Another TKO round for the last round, but you, 1,456 of you, nailed this one. You brought it home, you ran it back to the house, and you were all taking home about 69 or 68 cents. Congratulations, Kyle, 80, D-O-N, and then it cuts off. I'm sorry, I bet it's a clever name. I see you, all three of you there. Congratulations. Um, pimp fan. <laughs> All right, I like it. 68 cents is coming your way. T. McKenna, looking good there. Marsha, 50. You go, girl. You just got 69 cents. R.L.I. Cat. Oh, my God. That is a cute cat. 68 cents is coming your way as well. Awesome work tonight, team. Congrats to all of our new MVPs. Another dub in the win column. I think you could go back to back. You join me on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time for another game of HQ Sports. Now, I need to find a way to get on the naughty list stat. What? If it means I get coal, then I'm into it. That's Garrett Cole. Ayo! I'm Lauren Gambino. Until next time, remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.